Better check the speed packages. I got it. Oh man. Oh man, thank you so much. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Oh boys, we got them. We got them. They are here. All right, so before we kick off into the video and uh, get into some four wheel in action, obviously you can tell by the intro that we uh, we got some parts delivered for Project Betsy, the uh, 1989 GTA Trans Am. So let's go ahead and get them opened. So I'm excited. Obviously. I'm excited now, as you guys do know, Texas Speed is one of my sponsors, and uh, they were graciously to join me on another build. So with that, I have to give a huge, huge thank you to Texas Speed and Performance out of Texas. Great guys to work with. I absolutely love working with him on a uh, project daily basis, it seems like. Um, they've helped me out with a bunch of things, and I couldn't be any more excited. As always, we get our key tag. I got probably 40 of them, so maybe I'll bring some with me at the next events or anything and uh, hand them out to some of you guys. But there you go. We now have ported and polished cylinder heads for Project Betsy and the LS2 swap. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up for you so you guys can see them. And we're not gonna bolt them on just yet, but I will lay them on the engine block as you can tell is here. It's sort of my kind of parts room and kind of like the room that I do some of my repairs when it's colder out. So I can go ahead and make a mess of it because, well, it's my area. Oh boy. Oh man, if you guys are new to the channel, we do have a 1989 GTA Trans Am, and uh, man, is, are they gorgeous. Now this obviously is the second set of heads that uh, Texas Speed has done for me and sent to me, and uh, they do phenomenal work. So guys, definitely, if you're in the market for some cylinder heads for your LS, uh, LS1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, there's no 5, but... LTs, LSs, they're the guys to check out. Oh, oh man, Grandpa's engine has never looked so good. Look at that. Oh, all right, I got to get the other one out of the box. I wasn't going to do them both, but uh, fast forward to them on the head. Oh, man, these things look freaking beautiful. I am actually getting excited, guys. Now, this has been a project that I have wanted to do for quite some time. As you can tell, we do have the uh, manifold that is ready to go on. PRC by Texas Speed. So, again, guys, check those guys out. Huge, huge, huge fan of their work and their craftsmanship. And they stand behind everything that they have done with me so far. So, again, thank you to Texas Speed and Performance. Uh, Seth down there. Give him a call. Check him out. So... With all of that being said, as you can tell behind me, we are starting to rack up some of the parts for it. Um, I do still have my license plate, which we will put back on the car. 1989 GTA Trans Am, as you do know. If you do not know, now you know. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and roll the footage from today. And uh, I didn't really shoot an intro, so this is just it. So in, all right, So in case you guys don't know, uh, I have a buddy named uh, Danny from Slow Restoration. Um, he is the guy who does my shirts and my hoodies and everything. So... Before we get started, I want to give Danny a thank you for that. And uh, we're going to head down to his place. We're going to pick up a new order of merchandise, and we're going to reveal a little project that he has going on, which is actually pretty cool. Like, I I think I've hinted to it, or I've put it up on my Instagram a time or two, and uh, he's actually doing an LS engine into a uh, S10 Extreme, which, growing up as a kid, I always liked the Extreme trucks and everything like that. So it's, it's a pretty cool project. I believe it's five-speed and everything like that. But uh, we're going to roll the footage from going down there and uh, kind of, you know, do a little reveal for it, too. Because he's now getting ready to reveal the color that he's going to paint the truck. Now, he's doing a cab off restoration. Well, I don't want to reveal too much. So let's just get down there to Danny's and we'll, uh, you know, let you guys see from there. Man, it is really dark through these parts. Hello. Danny, <laughs> how are you? Mr. Sennett. Holy smokes. Man. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another now, nice one. That one is nice, actually. Like, sweet. the one you got off me definitely was not this nice. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is extreme. So. Yeah. 
uh, two different trucks. Mine was a Sonoma. I don't know if you guys remember or not, but he was the gentleman that bought the Sonoma off me back in, what was that, three months now? Probably. Yeah, about three months ago. So. And you've been ever since. He loves these things. Now, the main reason I'm here and to show you guys is just the extreme build that he is doing on, this is going to be another extreme, correct? Yes. On so another frame off restoration. LS extreme. LS extreme, yeah. Man, I mean, not original to that name, but we're definitely claiming. Yeah, if you guys don't know, you got to go follow his channel um, on Instagram. It's Slow Restoration. The attention to detail here is just insane. I mean, you literally pulled the frame oh, yeah. off. Fair frame, um, sandblasted, epoxy primer, paint, and then every little nut bolt clip. Even like you know this stuff, we pulled it all out, glass beaded it, painted it. Wow. I mean, the attention to detail on this truck is going to be phenomenal here. Now, this isn't the cab for this truck, but... Right, that, that's the original Extreme cab, but it does have some rust in it. So we had the cab that came off this frame, which was in really nice shape, um, until the tire blew. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have to check out his channel. He's been doing some crazy things. Like, as you can tell, he's doing a frame-off restoration. He, what, you custom-made the exhaust cutouts on the uh, tunnel here for the transmission, yeah. correct? Yeah. Or the cross member, I'm sorry. Like, you definitely have some time in this. Yep, there's well, definitely some time. You're, you're crazy. Yep. You're insane. I, I hear that a lot now. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, every time, every time you post something that you're doing, it just is mind blowing to me. Like I, I would never, you guys all know me, I would never take the time to do what he's doing here and it's, but, it's insane. But you gotta admit, you want to, Steve. Uh, uh, Maybe the not Trans Am, not yes, on yeah. Not I would never do it on an S10. We've already talked about this. I would never. Would yeah, I would personally never do it on an S10. An S10 is not mine, just because the unless you have sentimental value, I would never go this in detail with a car. You know, like, or if I was building, you know, a '69 Camaro or '68, '67, you know, something like that, I would, I would spend the time to do this. But an S10 to me is is that over there. I mean, that's a good looking truck. Right. Like, that's already a good looking truck. I would have just LS swapped that and been done. Yeah, that, that might be an option. <laughs> <laughs> Later project down the road, definitely. for that's sure. Definitely nice enough that we can just pull that motor and trans out and LS swap. Yeah. It. Now that has a blown engine, it correct? Does. So you got that fairly cheap. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is a thing for S10, so I know he didn't just go out there and buy that because he wanted it, right? Uh, no, I want <laughs> Okay, so he might have overpaid a little bit, but yeah, he wanted we, it, so. We got it. We got it. Yeah. Well, you guys will definitely have to check out his channel to see what he does with this. I'm actually excited about it. I do love S10 Extremes. A buddy of mine had one in high school, and it was just a fun truck to drive. It was actually a five-speed. Was it? Yeah, until he ripped it around the pole. Four-three or? Uh, no, it was a two-two. Two-two. Yeah, two-two. Yeah. This was actually a four-three stick shift. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Probably is kind of. I think they're. I was gonna say they're harder to find in the four-threes, but. And had the eight and a half inch stem bolt. Wow. So there's the bed and the wiring harness and everything like that. I see you uh, even cleaned that up. That's new. That's the, oh, that is current, brand new. I was gonna say, yeah. that looks all pretty pretty yeah. clean. I was looking at the connectors up here. I'm like, man. That's actually the adapter harness for an LS. Um, you plug in your factory S10 wiring harness and it makes everything work. Gotcha. ABS, gauges, ignition switch, fuel pump. Gotcha. Well, I'm excited for you to finish it. Yeah. And I'm excited to finish it. Uh, I know, I know, I don't know if you want me to say, but I know you said this is going to be ready for Motorama. Yeah. You it's realize that's three, three weeks, weeks away. <laughs> yeah. I've been reminded of that several times. Definitely. Well, good luck. Yeah. Then you come over to this garage here, and he's got obviously <laughs> another S10 here and uh, the Krypton Green. Yep. Love that car. Yeah. Love that car. This yeah. car, if you guys did come to call-outs or anything, he was with me at the call-outs. It is just an absolutely beautiful car. It doesn't sound bad either. It doesn't sound bad. I'm okay if we start it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm okay if you're okay. Yeah. I mean, or I can edit that out if you want. Yeah. <laughs> so this car is a Texas Speed Heads Cam Package car, yep. and uh, it made pretty good power for what it is. 535. Yeah, 535, which is pretty stout. Do love this car and his channel is again slow restorations definitely give him a follow on instagram and youtube great guys doing obviously the great build with the s10 and you know it's 
gonna be a cool build. Now this is gonna be a cold start, correct? Your car hasn't run in what, a month? Uh, actually I fired it up yesterday, but yeah, it's definitely cold. Something about a Texas speed cam, you gotta love it. It takes at least you know, 30 seconds. Yeah. Definitely. And I'm actually leaning on the garage door and I can feel it pumping in the garage door. You don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> Which one are we gonna do? This, this one? one. Yeah. Alright, well I'm right-handed, so I can't use my left, otherwise it's gonna look like I'm like crippled. <laughs> Which isn't a far. Yeah. <laughs> Mentally I'm crippled. Yeah. Oh, oh. He okay. must be left-handed. Nope. No? The anticipation's count. killing me. Yeah. I mean, mentally I already know what it is, but the viewers don't. How do you know? Um, I don't actually. I was just, <laughs> it's just a joke. Yeah. Alright. So Alright, guys, are you ready? ready? Are you ready? We might have given away already. Uh, they should have been able to figure it out. If you know Danny, you know he loves... Colors. Bright man, colors. Bright colors. So yeah. it is going to go Krypton green. Yes. Krypton. That's a solid choice. Yeah. I like it. It'll it'll look good next to this car in here. Unless you're going to sell this car. This car is for sale. It so is for sale. If you're interested in this car, let me know. Let Steve know. Send us an email. Send him an email. I'll put his information down below. But there you have it. S10 Extreme or LS Extreme is going to be Krypton Green. Definitely. Awesome. <laughs> Can't wait. All right, guys. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys like the content. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Smash that like button. Please subscribe. And I'm getting back in the Aveo. Now, it's probably, I think, yep, 30 degrees. I left it running here because I'm cold and, uh, well, I wanted it to be warm. So, let's head home.